three, two, one, action. <laughs> All right, so we're doing a new uh, bottom drain. It's actually like a retro bottom drain. We're adding it not to the bottom of our tank, but into the tank to draw solids. It's also known as a solids lifting overflow or SLO. The last one we had used a 45 degree angle pipe down to the lift uh, or the drain, and it was able to rock a little bit. And so we had fish finding their way underneath the drain and up into that three inch drain pipe. So we're gonna do an L shape. So we're gonna go from the center drain, which is this unit here, and I'll explain why it's tall. And we're gonna go out and over to the sidewall of the tank, up the sidewall of the tank, and then out. So it'll be an L shape, it'll be a 90 degree, um, and I'll give you an idea what that looks like here. So that is the lift, or the, the, the drain here, and this will draw the water in over here, and then up the sidewall and out. And this will make sure that this can't really, I mean, it can't rock around as you can see, but with the weight of it uh, held down by the, uh, by the pipe, uh, it'll be a, a lot harder to do so. So let's talk about how we built this. This is a, a drain uh, cap or sh uh, screen for a, uh, a wastewater drain or a rainwater drain. This is a, a six inch piece of pipe that it normally is mated to. We have cut a four inch hole with a three inch unisil, two 45s to give us a bit of a drop out to our three inch drain pipe. We're using stainless steel screws instead of glue so we can take this apart and service it. And as you can see, we've got some bolts on the bottom of this that is helping us to stand this up off the bottom. The fish will stay out of here except for the absolute smallest fish, um, but it'll keep them from out of there and allow this to draw all the waste from the bottom. And uh, not only would they have to be small enough to get underneath here, they'd actually have to be small enough to get in there. So if they're small enough to get under, but not go in, they would just go under and keep going. So then the top of this is gonna look a little bit different. So what we're doing, we're gonna add some weight to this to hold it down. And we have a cap we're gonna put on, and then we have a nine inch uh, EPDM or, or rubber membrane air bubbler. And we'll, we'll run a pipe into this and, and our air, air will be here. So the, the air will be lifting, it'll be drawing water up uh, almost in a, I guess it'd be considered an axial fashion and drawing all the waste to the center of the drain, letting that evacuate. So that's what we're building. We'll take some snapshots along the way and let you know how it goes.